obviously we're all going through this and I think it's really hard to kind of keep that romance and that spark alive, you know, and we all need something to look forward to. You know, this summer, so many people have canceled trips, you know, they're not getting to do stuff. So it's like, we need to excite any way we can, bring romance back into our life. <laughs> all right. Well, how do we do that? Because we're kind of limited of where we can go, right? What's some suggestions? Exactly. Exactly. Safety is the number one priority for everyone, but that does not mean that we can, we can still get creative, okay? So movie night, for instance. I'm not talking about just watching every Netflix there is on television. <laughs> hey, Tiger, hey I, Tiger King can bring people together now. Let's not underrate oh, that, right? <laughs> Exactly. We've all seen that, right? Yes. So let's just elevate it. The whole point is elevation, right? So take it outside. You can actually get a really great small movie projector for very inexpensive. You need a white sheet to hang up. You just need some, um, do some like blankets and pillows, make it comfy, make it cozy, pop some popcorn, have some candy, and watch a movie. You're under the stars. It's romantic. It's a simple thing you can do. But it's just going to elevate the movie night you've been doing from your couch in your pajamas. <laughs> yeah. I like one of the things you have on this list here is recreate your first date. Uh, I think we all kind of know what that first date was like. That's a great idea. Uh, this is one of my favorites, and it's super simple if you think about it. Okay, so just go back to your first date. It's so romantic to do this. You know, I, I recently talked to someone, and they did um, a ball game was their first date. So I said, why not have some hot dogs? You can actually virtually stream anything. YouTube is your best friend. So try to find that ball game, maybe, or just watch an old one of your favorite team. But it's all about just kind of uh, rekindling that spark, that romance. Something like that is so special, and I promise you it will be a huge hit. There you go. Uh, on this list as well, it's called glamping. I'm a camping guy, so you can put me in the middle of nowhere, and I'm happy. But glamping is one way to maybe perhaps get your a spouse, the person you date, get them out a little bit out of their natural element, their, I should say comfortable element, and get out in nature. Exactly. Well, you like camping. Not everyone does love camping. <laughs> um, so this is kind of an in-between. So it's glamping because it's a glamorized camping. All you need is a couple sticks, some rope, just throw some fabric over it to create a tent, if you will. Um, again, make it comfy and cozy with like pillows, a blanket, sleeping bags. Um, just make it like extra special and you can do s'mores, you can listen to some music. Um, there's some really great apps that you can actually, it's called Stargazer and you can actually sh you know, put your phone up to the sky and it tells you what the stars are, what the constellations are. It's very, very cool, but the whole point is to do something different outside of the ordinary, something just that you put a little thought and effort into. There you go. I think just getting creative on how you spend your day-to-day -day lives as far as maybe it's dinner or, like you said earlier, on dinner night. Just spice it up a little bit. Hey, Lindsay, we really appreciate your time. Uh, and any plans coming up for you? Are you going to take advantage of any one of these tips? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to be creative and try to bring that romance just like all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Thank you so much. Stay safe. All right.